I think I always wanted to be a scientist because for as long as I remember, I have been exposed to people that have taught me about uh, research and taught me about explorations. One of my grandmother was one of the rare women who had gone to have a scientific degree. And she had a laboratory in her pharmacy later on in which I could go as a child and play with you know, the scales, the tubes, and, and all of that. And the laboratory environment was for me something absolutely magical. Yasmin is, a, is an extraordinary individual who not only has done elegant work, but has been in there really from the very beginning. So we refer to her, I think appropriately and justifiably, as a pioneer. A pioneer in this rapidly growing and important field of the microbiome. So I started my work on Leishmania when I was in Pasteur Institute in Algeria. And the reason I was fascinated by Leishmania is because it's a microbe that can infect and can persist for years and years within the immune system. So really this became for me a, a long lasting question, which is how a microbe is able to live with us in such a peaceful way without being eliminated by the immune system. Even a microbe that can cause disease. The microbiota is this consortium of microbes that live in everybody's surfaces. The biggest surprise in our research is that we never anticipated how important the microbiota will be in the control of the immune system. And really over the last few years, what we begin to do is to try to understand how these microbes communicate with the immune system and how the immune system communicate with the microbiota and how this dialogue is actually important for the control of health. We are focusing on the GI tract because, of course, it's a site in which the highest biomass of this microbe is present. And we're also looking at the skin because the skin is an extraordinary environment in which there is very low number of microbes, but they can have a very powerful effect on the immune system. We have changed the way we are living. We have changed our diet. We have changed the kind of infection we are exposed to. We have also changed the kind of medication we are taking. And together, this has dramatically changed the composition of our microbiota but also the way we're actually responding to this microbe. And this is really believed to actually have led to a heightened inflammatory state and could actually trigger or amplify disease such as allergy, autoimmune disorders, or inflammatory bowel disease. And this really opened the door to whole new sets of therapy in which manipulating the microbiota or changing the microbiota can have a true therapeutic potential. When we started this journey, we could not have fathomed how incredibly powerful this microbe were actually in the control of the immune system. What went from a curiosity to now an important part of the human body is really rather striking how that's evolved over the last several years. Yasmin stands out as one of the handful of people who've been the major leaders in this area. You have someone who's intellectually brilliant, who takes chances, who goes into uncharted areas. So to me, that's highly, highly deserving of the Lurie Prize. <laughs>